Okay, so one of our subscribers was asking a really, really good question. This question kind of blew my mind because it kind of is the crux of like everything I understand about laptops, everything I understand about, uh, you know, Ultrabooks and Windows based PCs. And basically what this person was asking is, you know, what's the deal? Should I get a Windows based laptop that's going to cost me, let's say a thousand bucks. It's going to have an i7 processor. It's probably going to have, you know, 16 gig RAM. It's going to have all these high specifications or should I pay the same amount, a thousand dollars, or should I pay $1,300 and get eight gig of RAM, i5 processor, you know, it won't be nearly as good um, spec wise uh, because that's kind of how the MacBooks are. They're, they're not, they're not, they don't have as high specs, um, but somehow they still manage to sell. And why is that? Why are the MacBooks that are low, lower spec outselling all the Windows based PCs that have i7s and, and 16 gig RAM and they even have some of them even have dedicated GPU graphics. What it comes down to is when people buy MacBooks, they're buying like a whole sphere of services and and they're buying feelings and they're buying experiences that you don't get on the Windows based laptop. When you go and you buy a Windows laptop, you buy it pretty much for the raw performance. You don't really get it for anything else. Um, so if I was gonna buy a Windows laptop, and in the past, I would, I would personally, I would tell people don't get Apple laptops. They're not worth the, the money because the specs aren't as good, but I didn't understand what other information there was out there about why you should get a MacBook. And I didn't have one at the time, so I didn't know what Apple was like. I didn't know how, how they'd help me out. But what it comes down to is when you buy the MacBook, you're buying the Apple support that comes with it. So if there's something wrong with your MacBook, you go ahead and you take it to Apple and they will replace anything. In fact, uh, just just last week, I, I I had my iMac getting set up. I got, I got one and I uh, had a problem with the SSD. I went straight to the Apple store. They replaced my SSD and guess what else they replaced? They replaced my iPhone speaker all for free. They did all this for free. I had a real store I can go to, talk with real people, get real help. Um, and you're just not gonna get that off a Windows PC. Um, you're also not gonna get OS X, which I really like um, with the instant messaging system that it has built in there with iMessage, the cloud services, all that really makes a lot of sense. And of course, one of the number one reasons why I like Apple products is just the overall build quality. So Apple kind of pioneered the whole, the whole metal construction unibody design. They 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 pretty much pioneered that. There were a few other laptops that did it, but but Apple made it made it significant. They made it popular, um, and and with the simple design, people just love it. So when people are buying these MacBooks, you know they're buying design, they're buying brand, they're buying um, the support system to be able to go to Apple to get the help they need. Um, and there's a lot of small little quality things that you don't realize about, uh, you know, MacBooks that are really, really nice. Like for instance, being able to, you know, open up the MacBook with one finger, you know, things like that. They're just all over the place and you don't notice them until you get a MacBook and experience it for yourself. So, I mean, you can go and you can get yourself, you know, i7 computer with, you know, it's 16 gig RAM and it's going to be great. It's going to be powerful. It's, it, it, it will be more powerful than the MacBook and it's probably going to have even better graphics, but the MacBook is more sleek. It's sexier. If something breaks, you can go, you can get it fixed. Uh, the MacBooks tend to last longer. They have better build quality. Um, and I mean, that's it. I would prefer this versus something chunky like this. Um, just because this has more performance because, because it's not all about performance. It's what it's what it really comes down to. What it's really about is it's about the experience, and Apple gets that, and, and Apple knows they don't have to put an i7 with 16 gig in there because people will still buy this this MacBook more over over something that's a performance powerhouse. But the performance powerhouse doesn't have the support systems. It doesn't have the build quality. I mean, look at this thing. It's like it squeaks and stuff, and just you know, it's just not very good. Um, All right, so. Thank you for watching guys. I really do appreciate it. Fortunately though, I'm running late for work. So uh, I'll have to go and do that. 
Um, yeah, so I just want to come across as uh, genuinely that I really do care about you guys and that uh, I read your comments, I take everything to heart, so I'm constantly trying to make the channel better. Please, if you have any type of tips or ideas on how we can make the channel better, let me know in the comment section below. I read all the comments and I reply to you guys. Um, I hope this video was helpful. Maybe it was a little too long. Maybe I wasn't quick enough with the responses. Just let me know what you guys think. I'm going to try to have more Q&As, a weekly Q&A where I answer your guys' questions. So let me know what you guys think of this video. And if you have more questions, uh, don't hesitate to ask. All right, thanks. Cheers. Thank you.